హలో ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ సతీష్ బాబు సీనియర్ కన్సల్టెంట్ ఈఎన్టి హెడ్ అండ్ ఎక్ సర్జన్ వర్కింగ్ విత్ ది అపోలో హాస్పిటల్స్ బెంగళూరు లింఫ్ నోడ్స్ ఆర్ స్మాల్ టైనీ ఆర్గన్స్ సిచ్యువేటెడ్ అండర్ ద స్కిన్ ఆల్ ఓవర్ ద బాడీ అండ్ సమ్ టైమ్స్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ది క్యావిటీస్ లైక్ అబ్డామ్ క్యావిటీ చెస్ట్ క్యావిటీ అండ్ ఎవ్రీవేర్ ఇన్ ద బాడీ యూ హ్యావ్ స్మాల్ స్మాల్ టైనీ నోడ్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ యాక్టింగ్ లైక్ ఫిల్టర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద బ్లడ్ సో దీస్ థింగ్స్ ఫిల్టర్ ది బ్లడ్ అండ్ టేక్ అవుట్ ద ఇంప్యూరిటీస్ లైక్ బ్యాక్టీరియాస్ అండ్ వైరసెస్ and uh, hence if there is an infection in the region say for example you have a throat infection or a, a cold the bacteria which are running through the blood will be filtered by the lymph node and they will have the maximum concentration of bacteria or viruses hence there is a local inflammation of the lymph node and they start swelling up right so that is why the lymph nodes become palpable uh, that means you can feel them otherwise they are hardly 1 mm or lesser so you don't really feel it on a normal day when they are infected or the worst case scenario if there is a tumor of which the cells are spreading through the blood uh, these uh, lymph nodes will probably you know filter them and there will be a concentration of tumor cells inside the lymph node this is another reason why they will get swollen so either way the lymph nodes will become uh, palpable only if they become probably more than about 3 4 mm in size Uh, however we can detect uh, smaller uh, lymph nodes with the an ultrasound or a ct scan mri or uh, the investigative modalities can pick up uh, lymph nodes as small as 2 mm um, or lesser now if it is an acute swelling it just needs to be investigated for the cause of the uh, swelling and probably it will turn out to be an infection so you just need to treat them a chronically enlarged that means a neck swelling or a lymph node swelling remaining Uh, for more than about 3 4 weeks or progressively enlarging in size over a period of time progressively becoming more and more painful and if they start becoming harder and harder getting attached to the skin or underlying structures where uh, they don't slip away under the finger they just get stuck to one place and you can really feel them then these nodes have to be investigated first of their origin and type of uh, swelling and then the next thing we do is to take a biopsy out of it right an ultrasound or a ct scan will give us the structure of the lymph node after it is swollen if the structure is preserved then it is usually infective pathology so uh, we give a trial of uh, antibiotics and uh, wait for the lymph nodes to settle down but in the other hand if the antibiotics fail or if the lymph nodes are uh, not having a proper internal structure that internal structure is destroyed then that means there is something a uh, lot more sinister happening it can be many different type of tumors that can happen or sometimes especially in indian scenario we also look at the possibility of a tuberculosis where the internal structure of the lymph node is destroyed and gets liquefied it becomes more like a cyst there is pus inside the structure of lymph node and it feels boggy and uh, you know liquidy inside so uh, the scan will give us a picture now if you are not able to get a you know concrete diagnosis with all these then and then only we go for a lymph node dissection neck dissection where we remove lymph nodes from the affected area and send them for biopsy so there are only very few indications for neck dissection one most common neck dissections we do is for tumors any tumor in the head and neck region can have uh, neck lymph nodes uh, swollen and uh, if we suspect that uh, the lymph node is involved in the, in the tumor process then we have to remove if especially if you are doing a surgical uh, treatment for the tumor when we then we combine the neck neck dissection also with that uh, the other possibility is that if the tuberculosis is not getting confirmed by any of the regular uh, tests then we have to take a piece of the lymph node and send it for uh, detailed testing where we'll get a confirmatory report of uh, tuberculosis so these are the two most common indications for neck dissection and the safety wise it depends on the stage of the tumor if, uh, if it is only a, a tuberculous lymph node then uh, we just re- have to remove a um, couple of the lymph nodes are probably about a size of 1 2 cm the most accessible ones we'll remove and send them off whereas in case of tumors it depends on the stage even the lymph node swellings can be staged and based on that we decide it can be a simple partial neck dissection or a detailed neck dissection or extended neck dissection it involves different regions and uh, depending on the involvement we remove the lymph nodes and sometimes we may have to sacrifice a few structures like nerves and vessels 
and uh, even then since these uh, procedures are very well defined and uh, you know to avoid uh, any complications that can happen henceforth neck dissection generally is considered as a safe and a definitive uh, useful treatment as a part of tumor uh, treatment